Hi, my name is Ron Dorn, and the purpose of this video is to go over the fifth question of stage zero in the Lightning Lab. The fifth and sixth questions um, deal with providing you an appreciation of the overview of the physical geography of the game board environment. Um, the graph here I made up shows the different components of physical geography. This particular lab focuses on climate and lightning and the reasons for the lightning distribution in the San Francisco volcanic field. But the biogeography or the plants and animal distributions and the rock types and the soils and the landforms and also the hydrology are all part of physical geography. So this particular question hopefully gives you an appreciation for the importance of this area of the game board in the history of science and studying plants and animal distributions. A very famous person, C. Hart Merriam, studied the biogeography of plants and animals from the bottom of the Grand Canyon to the top of Humphreys Peak, which is the top of this game board. And the image you see here, this graph was what he drew of the different life zones. And you may have had to learn about these in element as early as elementary school, or maybe even high school. That down in the Grand Canyon, he called it the upper Sonoran zone of sagebrush. Underneath that is the lower Sonoran zone of, of saguaro and cacti. But in the game board we have here for the San Francisco peaks, the high plateau starts out with some grassland and basically pinyon juniper woodland. And you go all the way up to the top of the alpine tundra. And you can learn more about the diet life zones and the sort of things that are seen in the game board by visiting the Museum of Northern Arizona and also the highest part, the Alpine zone. So the game itself, the question is, what are the life zones of Sea Heart Marians that are exposed in the game board? And what I'd like you to do is to visit the different locations. The top of the zone in the game is the Mount Humphreys, a mixture of life zones between diff two different... <laughs> there are four locations I'd like you to visit in the game, and then also with the help of Google Street Views. Let's start out with the lowest elevation life zone you see in the game. It's at this location, and you can see the latitude and longitude coordinates you can jump to in the game. The Google Street Views is off of Highway 89. And I pre-programmed this link so you can get idea of the Pinion Juniper community that exists out on the flanks of the San Francisco volcanic field. So from the perspective of the game, and this is the peaks, way out in the distance here would be the Pinion Juniper woodland or out in the inset map, out in this area here. It's a light green coloration. Then this view here is near the airport at Flagstaff. And it's a classic Ponderosa woodland. So when you look out at the lower slopes of the plateau that are in green, and this is Flagstaff, you have one of the biggest areas of Ponderosa pine woodlands. Another link for you to explore, and this is the Arizona Trail, where you can actually walk on the Arizona Trail in different views. These are two different life zones that you can explore. One of them is the fir with a mixture of aspen, and the other are spruce. So as you go up towards the San Francisco peaks, and I wouldn't want to be the person who carried all this Google camera stuff on her or his back you can get an idea of what the fur environment looks like, and you can walk yourself all the way up into the spruce environment. And then when you get way up to the top of the game board, this is the view from the top of Humphreys Peak, where you're above the tree line and you're in the harsh Arctic, Arc you're, it's so cold and it's so windy that you can only have the alpine plants growing. You need to drop down to the tree line to get up to the spruce zone. And then below that, the firs. 
and then out in the distance, the Ponderosa Pines, and then way out in the Painted Desert is the Juniper. Please explore these different opportunities in the game board and gaining appreciation for the environment that you're exploring with the main question being the climatological issue of explaining the lightning distributions.